After the camera stopped rolling, we got into the realest conversation that you would ever experience in your life. No me dejas hablar, porque tú tienes cara que tú no dejas hablar. Tú eres bien liso para que sepas. Pero tú tienes que hablar en inglés. argument okay after the cameras rolled you know I try to keep it non-controversial but you know he said something that I did not like okay and I realized that this is something that a lot of Panamanians who stayed here in Panama they always feel like they're different from the Panamanians that left and is abroad so he says cannabis has the nerve to say Roberto okay Roberto <laughs> had the nerve to say that there was two different reggae and espanol movements. Uh -huh. One here in Panama and one here in New York. Uh -huh. So I'm going to let him say his piece okay. before I bring <laughs> okay? okay? So you go first. Okay, let me develop my point, right? Okay, what happened is that um, artists from the United States, and you can ask Gringo for that, Killer Rangs, La Trevida, for that they they didn't know that there was a movement here movement here in Panama right and the opposite the, the same the, the, the same thing with Panamanian artists they don't know the the, uh, the, um, the New York artists right so what happens they start their independent and separate movement right Chicho Man, Supanandi, Renato, all those artists start working here in Panama without the knowledge of the movement from the United States. The artists from the United States, uh, Gringo Man, uh, La Trevida, El General, they uh, get, get like more, uh, more international than the Panamanian artists. Except for Renato. Renato was very international in comparison with the other Panamanian artists. And Chichaman also. And ah, Chichaman also, with uh, a couple of tunes, right? But not all the artists, right? But in the United States, uh, Gringo and all those artists and Nando Boom from Panama to the United States, they uh, start recording uh, Spanish songs with Jamaican producers, Carl Miller, Shelly Record. So that was a different movement from the movement in Panama. I mean, all of us were, uh, were Panamanians, but two different movements. Like, la, 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 as I told you in Espanol, it's like the church. We are Christians, but it doesn't mean that it's only one movement. There's a different Christian movement inside the, the, uh, under the same, on, under the same uh, belief, right? In Jesus Christ, for example, right? It's the same thing with the reggae in Espanol. And actually, the name Reggae en Español was given by Jamaican producers, mm -hmm. not Panamanians. Panamanians always uh, used to say, no, we sing Reggae. And it doesn't matter if you sing it in Spanish or English, for us it's just Reggae. And that's it, just Reggae. But the Jamaican producers start to use the name Reggae en Español to name uh, the movement in the United States, right? And then that uh, movement, those records uh, spread all over the world, and we know the history. Reggae en Español is popular around the world, and then was used by the reggaeton, etc., etc. But it started as two different movements in the 70s and in the 80s. Now, in the middle of the 90s, of the 90s, sorry, we uh, get merged accidentally, obviously, because the Panamanian artist. Is um, stop the recordings with the Jamaican producers, right? And then the the um, what is it? The business changed, and everybody start doing reggae uh, in an independent way, right? Oh, some other producers, or Chombo, um, what is the name for the number one producer? Pucho Bustamante, Elian Davis, and all those producers, producers, right? So all that joined the reggae in Espanol in one movement. 
but originally start as two different movements. Okay, let me say something. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say this because obviously I grew up in New York in the Panamanian community, so I'm very aware of what was going on in the Panamanian com community. I personally think that the Panamanians here in Panama was the ones that separated it and made it, oh no, a them versus us thing. And it should not be that way because al final, todos nosotros somos panameños, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. So for you to say, oh, that is two different movements, uh -huh. I can't agree with you, I cannot agree with that because at the end of the day, todos nosotros somos panameños. And we all were singing the same type of music. And let's not forget, uh -huh. the only reason why reggae even came to Panama is because of the chombos, because you know that they used to call uh -huh. the black people, the ones that were descendants from Jamaica, my great grandparents, uh -huh. chombas uh -huh. y chombos. Y la gente que no sabía hablar español muy bien como yo, yo era chomba. So obviously, that is gonna come from people that are descendants from Jamaica. Those, those group of people that left Panama, that went to the States, were mostly descendants from Jamaican people. So like even Renato said it in my interview, he said the same thing. If it wasn't for um, um, Gringo Man and those other artists pushing the music from here in Panama, people outside of Panama wouldn't even know. So how can you say it's two different movements? We were all supposed to be working for the main, but the main, the same goal. So I don't agree with that. And it's and it's so funny that you say that because I feel like a lot of Panamanians that are here from Panama, they want to separate the Panamanians from the U.S. No. Yes. They want to separate the pa and I'm telling you from personal experience, you're not gonna see it that way because you're already on the inside. But from the outside, from the outside, I have people that don't support. Obviously, I'm Panamanian. No Panamanians support me and what I'm doing. Although what I'm doing is I for Panama. You. Hey, you, <laughs> you, 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 you. I support you. She support you. He support you. He's not Panamanian. He's American. But she supports. Okay. Support you. Before I, when I first started my channel, my channel was specifically to talk about. I used to live in the states for uh, twenty something years. I moved back to Panama because this is where my roots is, and I feel uh, cool about a whole bunch of other stuff, right? And the Panamanians, the local Panamanians, they don't even accept me as a Panamanian because they, they say, oh, you from, you from the States, you from, from outside. And it shouldn't be that way. We're all one. Uh -huh. So I can't agree with that statement that you're saying, oh, it's two different movements. No, no. no. Was two different movements. Was it's in the not, past. It, yeah, because uh, some people in Panama, they don't even know the people, the, the artists from New York. Actually, some, some yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like that's who? true. For example, like me, the first time that I that I, that I hear Gringo, the first time that I hear uh, El Maleante, Pocho Pan, Killer Runs, all those artists uh, from New York, right? I was thinking that they live here in Panama because I'm, I'm from in, in Colón. In Colón, that is a big. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yes. Most of the people uh, think that those artists live here in Panama. I'm from Colon City and I used to think when I was in the school that Gringo Man lived here in Panama, Pocho Pan lived here in Panama okay. and then somebody told me, no, they are from the United States. Huh? Right? So it's not about, when, when I mean two movements, I don't, I, 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 I'm not trying uh, to tell you that I'm agree with that. Okay. But they don't knew okay. each other. Some people start here in New York, some people start in Panama. Fortunately, we joined. Okay, well in that case, right. then I understand where you come from. I thought uh -huh. that you was trying to say, no, it was too different, like, no, we're not the same. And I'm like, no, it's the same. Because I remember- They don't even know knows each other. Uh, for example, you can ask to Gringo this, right? Gringo was recording with Jamaican producer and they don't, and he don't even know that there was some other artist in New York City recording with Jamaican producers, right? So if you go to the to, 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 to the New York artist, you will see that there is like two or three versions. No, I start first. No, I start first. No, yes, that's right? true. Right? Because even in New York, they don't know each other. It, it's like it's, it's like here in Panama. Here in Panama, some people say no, Renato the first. No, some other people say no, it's Supernandi because they don't know. Each others, uh, 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 most likely the fans. 
uh -huh. the fans, the, 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 when the first time that you hear Renato and you, do, and you, do, uh, uh, and you haven't heard Supanandi yet, you think that Renato is the first, mm -hmm. right? For it, some, something very similar happens in New York with Gringo, with Killer Rans, with La Trevida, with Nando Boom, with El General. Most of the people uh, in the world think that El General is the first artist. And that's not the truth. Exactly, right? So uh, uh, that is my point. I'm not agree with two different movements, okay. but unfortunately, unfortunately, due to the distance, uh, because we have no technology for the communication, it start as a two different movements. For the world, we are one movement. We was a, we was one mo movement. We are one movement now. Okay. But not in the past. Well, we're gonna find out because next week I'm going to interview Gringo Man, right? And Gringo is going to clarify whether or not Bring Gringo. it was two different movements. Okay? Gringo's my friend. Gringo's my friend. Like, my friend. like he's saying, and then after that, we're going to bring all three of us on the platform together, me, you, and Gringo. Dale. And then we're going to we're going to put this to we're going to put this to rest. Ven como tú quieras, compa. Tira y cuerea. <laughs> okay guys, no, for real. And actually, I know that information for Gringo, because as you mentioned before, I'm here from Panama. Yes. I, I never lived in, in New York before. Uh -huh. So I asked to Gringo, I asked to Killer Rand, sometimes Nando Boom called me whenever I uh, upload a TikTok video, Nando Boom called me and, you know, this is right, that is not right. So I start like to uh, put everything together. So I realized, hey, they don't even know each other there in New York. It's the same thing that Panama, right? For, um, for, uh, fortunately, we are one movement now. Good. But not at the beginning, unfortunately. Actually, there are some divisions inside the 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 the, 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 the reggae. Culture, yeah. The, uh, about the beginnings, right? But the fans, they don't really, they don't really care who was the first one. Fans, they only want. Uh, they only want to put Panama in the top of the reggae in Espanol. They don't care if it was Super Nandi, Renato, mm -hmm. Chicho. They don't care about that. They only want to say Panama is el mejor en reggae en Español and that's it. And that's how it's supposed to be. Period. Uh huh. So who wants Punto. me, right? <laughs> <laughs> who wants the fight? Me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pero vamos a ver. Eso sí es verdad. Eso, I mean, yes, that is true. Sorry. That part is true. But the reason why I'm saying that is because I remember being five years yeah, old. Yeah, millennia, yeah, millennia. Uh -huh. Shut up. <laughs> the only reason why I'm saying that is because I remember when Chicho Mai came to my birthday party when I was like five years old. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? And uh -huh. there were artists from Panama that was coming to New York at that time. And why time. you don't uh, try to interview Chicho Mai? He lives here in Panama now. A process. Okay, because you know what? I reached out to Reggae San Okay, so this is exactly what I'm saying about people in Panama not supporting people. Other people that's trying to. Thank God I was granted this opportunity. I don't know how, but I was granted the opportunity to even be able to sit and have this conversation, right? But I think a lot of times when people feel like, like I told you, the two separate movements, like you said, when they feel like, oh no, porque tú no, ella no es de Panama, ella es de los Estados Unidos. They don't want to open the door it's very it, here is very clicky and you know that within the community within it's very much a click and everybody is a circle and they don't want to let nobody in in the circle and if they feel that somebody else might take their spot they don't want to let you in and that's exactly how it is so for you for i understand what you say oh well why don't you try it's easier said than done like unfortunately that's just the way it is when my time is people in panama don't accept you until you everybody out the side no until people on the outside mm. respect you, that's when they want to say, ah, la Panameña, oh. la Panameña, la Panameña. Pero cuando yo estaba aquí en Panamá, no me hicieron caso. So why does it have to be that I have to take, ex I have to be accepted by somebody else from the outside in order to be respected here? From my own people. Como que dice nadie profeta en su tierra. Como Exacto. Que, uh, and that's the problem that we have with Gringo Man. I'm not going to talk on, be, on his back. He feels the same way. That here in Panama, they're not showing him the respect. So the Puerto Ricans is. Okay. And it shouldn't be that way. So how? what are we going to do to change that? It's kind of hard. We have the same issue, uh, the same problem here with the uh, museum. It's, it's the same thing, right? Uh, some producers, some artists, they're the ones to support, support the project. 
until they see something, right? Right. Even the, the, the uh, Jamaican embassy, right? Uh, they um, opened the door. The Jamaican embassy, they uh, uh, are trying to help. It's a long process, but they opened the door. But here in Panama, it's kind of hard, right? Mm-hmm. So. Don't worry, it's gonna get done. Even though I'm gonna tell all my all my subscribers to come visit the museum.